Welcome to Cardboard Box. You probably don't know this Transformer. Sure, you've seen transforming fire trucks before, but maybe not this guy. No, he's not Inferno, he's not Hotspot, nor is he Fire Convoy. He's Hosehead. He came out in 1988 at the tail end of G1, after the cartoon had finished. I used to have one as a kid. I think I got it around my ninth birthday when my little sister was being born. Hey little sis, if you're watching this, I may be a grown man making toy videos online, but I'm still way cooler than you are. Nah. I don't know if he's based on any particular type of fire truck, but he's red and he has a fancy ladder hose thing. If that's not a fire truck, I don't know what is. The nozzle and hose arm can be manipulated in a number of different ways for all sorts of firefighting fun. It rotates on some great clicky ratchets at the base. The arm stays in position using soft detents and friction. It seems to hold most positions okay, but the level of grip is not uniform throughout. But for a 33 year old toy, it's holding up great. This guy came with lots of little accessories that are easy to lose. There's two little guns that remind me of Uzis. They peg onto the small ports on either side. Those ports are a little bit bigger than 3 millimeters. He comes with a rifle that can attach to a 5 millimeter port on the arm. And he comes with a special bucket seat. And to sit in that seat, there's a little tiny Headmaster Junior named Lug. Headmaster Juniors were smaller and less articulated than proper Headmasters. All he can do is bend at the waist. What's the matter, little guy? Don't you want to sit in your seat and ride in the big fire truck? No? Hey, not so fast. He fits very snugly where he is, and he won't fall out. It seems odd that he sits behind the cab instead of inside of it. The little guns can rotate and can be pointed in a number of different positions. I'm not sure which gun should be on which side. So it can look like this, or it can look like this. But this is how I'm doing it. It looks like there's another possible port for these guns up by the ladder. But if you try to put the guns there, they eventually just fall out. Those holes are there just to hold the ladder in place. The rifle can rotate, so Hosehead can protect against threats from just about any direction. Move along, Fangry. This is not your video. If you pull these fists out, you can load them up with any extra weapons you have kicking around. Let's lose all that gear and compare them to some other red transforming fire trucks. Here he is next to Make Toys Hellfire, Power of the Prime's Inferno, Kingdom Inferno, Rescue Bot's Heat Wave, and Magic Square's Fire Extinguisher. Now let's transform him. It's easy. Open up his car smashing bumpers, lift up the arm and hinge around the cab, get him back on his feet and hinge out the arms. Pull out the fists. With the arms forward you can fold back the red panels, hinge down the chest cover, and add the headmaster to reveal his tech specs. But we're not done. Fold up the chest. For safety's sake, make him wear his seat as a helmet. Now disregard all safety and put the guns on that helmet, and give him his rifle. All headmasters are by definition parts formers. The headmaster juniors double down on this. Most people are going to lose those small parts over time. So if you have a headmaster with a head, you're already ahead of the game. If you have a headmaster junior with all of his weapons and little parts, stop watching this video right now. Head down to the corner store and buy yourself a lotto ticket, because you're one of the lucky ones. And if you have Hosehead with all of his parts, you better call the fire department because your lucky streak is so hot, you must be on fire. Despite his rarity, Hosehead is not a fancy figure. He's very much a basic brick. The feet are joined together as a solid chunk. The arms fare a little bit better. They can rotate. They can butterfly out. The head is locked into place, but the gun antenna can rotate. I wonder if they are meant to shoot lasers, or bullets, or laser bullets, or maybe water. I have a sneaking suspicion that I might have these guns on the wrong sides, but this is what looked good to me. Please dogpile me in the comments if I have the guns on the wrong way, but more than likely, you don't know what the right way is either. The hose arm is fun in this mode too, and it can move around quite a bit. In a way, it's more functional than his real arms. He can sort of use it like Doc Ock uses his tentacles. Maybe it's like a servant. May I take that heavy gun for you, sir? Or maybe it has its own personality. Yoink! Got your hat! Let's do some bot mode comparisons. Here he is next to his packaging art, that's cool, Hellfire, Inferno, another Inferno, Heat Wave, and Fire Extinguisher. I really like the way he looks. He has an aesthetic and build quality that reminds me of the G1 Autobot clones and the Pretender bots. And that makes sense. They all came out around the same time, after the end of the North American cartoon. Hosehead appeared as a character called Cab in a Japanese Transformers cartoon. You're going to think I'm making this up, but the show was called Super God Master Force. Here's a clip of how he appeared. You know, for educational purposes. I have fond memories of this toy, and I feel lucky to come across him again. I managed to get him locally, and for a decent price. I don't think I would have been able to get him at eBay prices. And you shouldn't try either. 
Hasbro and Takara have been doing a good job lately at releasing new toys of their back catalog of oddball and rarer characters. I'd love to see them do a reinterpretation of Hosehead. If they did, I imagine it would be a part of their Selects line or some other overpriced exclusive. I could be tempted. Thanks for watching Cardboard Box. See you next time. Like my vids? Buy me a coffee. It's easy. Visit coffee.com slash cardboardbots. Thank <laughs> you.